marching with pride and steadfastness in their aim to spread peace and harmony around malaysia sri lanka nepal and various parts of india in this festival of science electronics computer science mathematics and mental ability सिटी मंत्री स्कूल द्वारा आयोजित चार दिवसीय अंतर्राष्ट्रीय विज्ञान ओलंपियाड क्वांटा 2023 के भव्य एवं गरिमामय उद्घाटन समारोह के अवसर पर हमारे बीच में उपस्थित हैं सीएमएस के संस्थापक आदरणीय डॉक्टर जगदीश गांधी जी आदरणीय अदिति शर्मा जी आदरणीय जितने भी मदर्स बैठे हैं मदर्स आर प्लीज रिक्वेस्टेड टू कम अप ऑन स्टेज मुंगेर टीम कोड टू सी सेंजेवियर स्कूल फ्रॉम बुकारो स्टील सिटी टीम कोड टू ई दुर्गापुर पब्लिक स्कूल फ्रॉम रायगंज Followed by Sunbeam School Code 2F from Mao. Now coming to the local schools, we have Honor College Code Team Code 1G. Guru. by declare the 25th quanta 2023 open <laughs> okay can we ask mr milind raj to come and and turn the thing on over here okay ready yes in 3 2 1 okay. go
Moving on, time for me to invite our next speaker, who represents Team 2D. The speaker will be speaking for the topic. The era we are living today is the era of machines. In other languages, artificial intelligence, whether it's household work, agriculture, hospitality, or war. Yes, war. We are all aware of the destructions of war. If we talk about Ukraine and Russia, and the latest one, the Israel and Palestine, we just can't believe the dire consequences. Good morning, everyone. I am Noreen here from MMK High School, Ranchi, India. And I am taking stand of it. AI-powered autonomous weapon have the potential to increase perception and efficiency in military operation, potentially reducing the collateral damage and minimize the risk of human soldiers. AI can be employed for defensive purposes, such as protecting strategic assets, detecting threats, and developing robust cybersecurity measures. Autonomous weapon could lead to fewer human casualties as they can make split-second decisions based on data and algorithms, potentially avoiding the, uh, sorry, the, potentially avoiding the errors that made by human operators under stress. The advanced technology of AI may gain strategic advantage in modern warfare which can deter the potential aggressors and contribute to global stability. The existence of powerful autonomous weapon might motivate nation to seek diplomatic solution conflict, knowing that the stakes are higher with advanced technology involved. The importance of robust international farm works and ethical guidelines for the development and the uses of AI-powered weapons, ensuring that they adhere to humanitarian laws and principles. The necessity of maintaining human control oversight over autonomous weapon to prevent misuse, reduce the risk of unintended consequences, and maintain the accountability for action taken. With that, I would like to end my speech here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Speaker. The Speaker talked about precision and accuracy when it comes to AI operations on the battlefield. Talked about robust establishment of cybersecurity measures. And most importantly, spoke about, or rather emphasized on, AI minimizing human errors. Thank you, Speaker. The House is now open for questions. Yes, please. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, my question is that you talked about global stability. How could you say that the uh, AI and autonomous weapons lead us to the global stability? Uh, when we develop autonomous system, the system would actually raise, the nations would raise to develop more and more autonomous weapons. So how can you say that it would lead to global stability? Uh, the develop, uh, I just mentioned in my debate uh, speech, the develop advanced AI technology in military applications may gain strategic advantage because uh, we can use AI. There's uh, not in one way we can use AI in military application. There are so many um, different ways to use AI, like detecting threats and uh, developing robust cybersecurity measures. I hope that's the answer your question. Yes, please, go ahead. Okay. The mic, please, switch it on. Can you use the next mic, the, the one with, yes, thank you. You stated at the beginning of your text that autonomous weapons and the use of machines that are that use AI diminish, may diminish casualties at war, but a document from the, from the United Nations 
stated that in 2022, the civilian related death, civilian related to civilian deaths related to conflicts uh, had a steep rise of 50% because of the Russian-Ukraine war. And there are documents and uh, news that, that show the use of this kind of weapons in the Ukraine war. So how, how can you say that the use of autonomous weapons will diminish the casualties of war? If I'm afraid we'll have to stop here. The question was prolonged and we've run out of time. Thank you very much. Thank you, speaker, representing 2D. Time now for me to... One is here. One E. One F. And... So we need set two F to four A, four C and four D. We're going to call your team code after some time. Just wait. So all teams, set your things. So all the best to the four teams, 2A, 2B, 2C, and 2D. Can we have a loud round of applause so that you can wish them? Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 2D, well done. You can clap for yourselves to see. The other two are struggling. Judges, are you ready? Shravan sir, are you ready? Please note the team codes which are, we are announcing. Okay, in the first lane. Okay, in the first lane, 2C, 4C, 2D, and 4N. Once again, I'm announcing 2C, 4C, 2D, and 4N. Judges, please note. I'm repeating again. If you have noted down, it's very good. Any doubt? Shravan, sir. Ready? Team code noted? Okay. Uh, participants, please note. Participants, can you see this side on your left? Hello? Can you see me? Once the boat is released, you are not supposed to touch it. If you are going to touch it, we are not going to consider you for the uh, prizes. Is it clear? Okay. So now team's ready. Okay. One, two, three. For them. Let's. Okay, two D, I think. Two D, three D, four C, four L. Now, 2D, very good. 
After two D, four C, four C. I think it's for call eleven. Stand here, and this side here, leg shall not stand. Stand here. Stand here, but your team coach is here. Team coach is here. My team was not for. Okay. Yes. So all participants ready? One, two, three. Once again, 1M, 2A, 2B, and 1F. So all participants, please come here. 1M, 2A, 2B, and 1F. Okay, take your time. One M, one M, kindly report here. Two A is just fixing the wire. Andres, one F. Where is one F? Okay, judges, note. Note, two A is going to attempt in the next round. 2A is going to, are, are you ready? 2A, 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 you are ready? 2B, you are ready? Hello, 2B, 1M, where is 1M? City Montessori School, Rajaji Puram Campus, 1M. Okay, this is a final call. Okay, just remove. Okay, two B, two uh, A, one F. You all ready? Set your things. Set your robot. One. Ready, 1F? Okay. 1, 2, 3.
for me to invite our next speaker who will be representing team 2B representative oh that's some support loud and clear 2B and the representative shall speak for the topic what happened where are the rest of you now it's going to be a longer walk as you can see for the speakers from the left to the right end of the podium to the podium rather and therefore the clapping must go on thank you a very good afternoon everyone who are present here today the world is struggling with many types of problems and most of the problem is related to environmental pollution we all know here carbon plays the most important role in pollution so my question is that carbon pricing, which is an effective climate change solution, not an economic burden. And I'm putting stand on it. Carbon pricing creates a financial incentive for businesses and individuals to reduce their carbon emissions. By putting a price on carbon, it encourages the transitions to clear energy and more sustainable practices. Carbon pricing stimulates innovation in clean technologies when companies face higher costs for emitting carbons, they are motivated to develop or adopt greener technologies, which can lead to a more sustainable and efficient economy in the long run. Depending on how it's implemented, revenue generated from carbon pricing can be used to fund renewable energy projects, energy efficiency programs, and other initiatives that further combat climate change. Carbon pricing provides a clear and predictable economic signal for businesses and investors. This stability encourages long-term planning and investment in sustainable technologies, which can lead to further combat climate change. And in fact, it, is, it will be in job creations and economic growth. Implementing carbon pricing demonstrates a commitment against climate actions which can lead to build trust or encourage international cooperation in the fight against climate change. By reducing air pollution associated with burning fossil fuels and so on, carbon pricing can lead to significant improvement in public health, resulting in lower healthcare costs and a higher quality of life. Failing to address climate change can lead to even greater economic burden in the form of natural disaster, agricultural losses, and infrastructure damages. In fact, New Zealand is the first to levy a carbon tax. Kiwis will pay an extra New Zealander $2 a week for electricity, petrol, gas, and so on. But still now, what we are doing, we are just cutting down the trees also in a large amount, and we are just increasing the rate of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. That's why carbon pricing is very, very, very important for us. Thank you. Thank you, speaker. Questions, please? Yes, 1M. So you talked about carbon pricing being an incentive for businesses and individuals. Uh, but considering the political challenges faced by Australia after the repeal of carbon pricing, uh, and uh, how can we guarantee that the carbon pricing is a long-term plan for us? Okay. So, if we put a price on carbons, uh, so uh, the people who uh, take the, some um, industries, they will open the, some industries, and uh, they will be the job uh, creations, and uh, it will be the sustainable, and we will be the work on sustainable, um, sustainable technologies. So, it will be. One e. um, you talked about carbon tax, quote unquote, bringing about stability and helping in the long term planning. How does this even stand true when point number one, not all countries have been able to abide by it, and number two, there's no ethical means of assessment of the carbon tax that is to be paid? 
Final, please, can you repeat this again? Ma'am, you talked about quote unquote stability uh, that is being brought about the carbon tax. How does this even stand true? And point number one, not all countries have been able to abide by it. And number two, there's no ethical means of assessment of the carbon tax that needs to be paid. Okay. So actually, I have a question for you that uh, uh, it will be uh, as the, you said that. Uh, so it will be, uh, you know, it, it will be an economic burden also. But uh, more than that, it will be an effective and only climate change solution. So what will be the uh, most important for you that your life is uh, more important for you or your money? Okay. Next question. Please go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, a very simple question. When we talk about economic burdens, don't you believe uh, Arabic countries, countries in Middle East, whose entire economy revolve around fossil fuels, wouldn't switching from fossil fuels be an economic burden for those specific countries? Thank you. Can you repeat this again? My simple question is, countries in the Middle East whose uh, major form of inflow of finances from uh, the international borders is from fossil fuels, oil, etc. Don't you believe switching from fossil fuels will be an economic burden for these countries? That will be all. Thank you. Uh, the question remains unanswered because of paucity of time. Thank you very much, Speaker. Thank you to the participants for this very
रंग तीनों जान से प्यार रंग तीनों जान से प्यार रंग मेरी माई का रंग सच्चाई का हर अच्छाई का That was just a wow. A mesmerizing journey through the heart of India, courtesy of teams 2B and 2D from India. Their performance was just a celebration of color, tradition, and the rich tapestry of Indian culture. Let's express our appreciation for this captivating journey with a round of applause. Anybody from Warner College? One F City Montessori School Chalk Campus. Come on, give it up. And the first prize has been backed by 4A Student Research Center, Bade in Wittenberg, Leo Dragosh, and Yul Kerber. Congratulations to each one of you. Students of Chalk Campus, you can do a much better job. Clap your hands. Thank you so much. Next. Run. Third prize, one piece.